Hi, I'm John Persinos, Editorial Director of Investing Daily. I'm also the Chief Investment Strategist of the premium trading service, Marijuana Profit Alert. Welcome to my video presentation for Thursday, March 28, 2024. Psychedelics have gone from hippie roots to corporate suits. Once associated with the counterculture and stigmatized as dangerous, psychedelic substances are undergoing a renaissance and they're a major investment story in 2024 and beyond. Before I delve into today's topic, I want to point out a fact that probably never occurred to you. Money is a psychedelic too. Seriously. When binding to the brain's reward pathway, natural opioids in the brain cause euphoria and release a key neurotransmitter known as dopamine. Dopamine signals the neurons, brain or nerve cells, of the body to create a pleasurable feeling or high. You can trigger this process, of course, by ingesting drugs. But certain natural activities can repeat this process in the reward pathway, such as eating food, having sex, exercising, and making money. That's why you get a thrill deep in your brain from seeing your portfolio post gains, a stock holding soar, or your 401k climb higher. It's all part of the opioid dopamine loop. I'm just as addicted to the joy of making money as you are, so let's get our fix. The latest legalization efforts tell a powerful story about the money-making potential of psychedelics. The legal journey of marijuana informs the future for psychedelics. As a class, psychedelic drugs were banned on the federal level in the U.S. by the Controlled Substances Act of 1970. The same ban applies to marijuana. But that hasn't stopped states from lifting restrictions on both marijuana and psychedelics. I've opined extensively about marijuana legalization. In this video, I focus on psychedelics. Cannabis and psychedelics, well, they're two sides of the same coin, with many companies making simultaneous forays into both sectors. In 2019, Denver, Colorado became the first U.S. city to decriminalize psilocybin, the psychoactive ingredient in magic mushrooms. The cities of Oakland and Santa Cruz, California, decriminalized psilocybin in 2019 and 2020, respectively. Washington, D.C. followed suit in 2020, as did Somerville, Massachusetts in 2021, and then the neighboring cities of Cambridge and Northampton in 2021. Seattle, Washington became the largest U.S. city to take this action in 2021, followed that year by Detroit, Michigan. Oregon voters passed a 2020 ballot measure making it the first state to both decriminalize psilocybin and also legalize its supervised use. Colorado followed in 2022 when it legalized hallucinogenic mushrooms and three other psychedelics. Colorado is currently laying the groundwork to open licensed use facilities by the end of 2024. Various proposals to legalize certain psychedelics on a statewide basis are pending this year in Arizona, Connecticut, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Vermont, and Wisconsin. That's an impressive roster of states. All these bills are popular with voters in the respective states, and most are expected to pass. That will translate into a huge expansion this year of the psychedelic market. For investors keen on exploring new horizons, Understanding these interconnected trends offer lucrative opportunities. Accompanying the legal and cultural shifts are advancements in scientific research that underscore the therapeutic potential of psychedelics. Studies have shown promising results in using substances like psilocybin and MDMA and LSD to treat various mental health conditions, including depression, anxiety, PTSD, and addiction. Take a look at the following chart, which tells the story of burgeoning growth in the psychedelics industry. As perceptions of psychedelics shift and scientific evidence mounts, a nascent industry is emerging around psychedelic medicine. This industry encompasses not only pharmaceutical development, but also wellness retreats, mental health clinics, and technology platforms supporting psychedelic-assisted therapy. Investors are taking notice of the potential financial opportunities within this space. The potential for profit lies not only in 
pharmaceuticals, but also in ancillary services such as therapy centers, wellness products, and digital platforms. For investors looking to capitalize on this emerging industry, several avenues exist. One option is to invest directly in pharmaceutical companies that are developing psychedelic-based medicines. These companies, often referred to as psychedelic biotechs, are conducting clinical trials and seeking regulatory approval for psychedelic-assisted therapies. Take a look at this chart, which breaks down the ongoing Phase 2, Phase 3, and pre-registration drug trials with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration involving psychedelics. The scope of these trials is quite impressive. Additionally, some investors are exploring opportunities in psychedelic-focused venture capital funds or exchange-traded funds, ETFs, that provide exposure to a diversified portfolio of companies operating in the psychedelic space. The growing interest in psychedelics has led to the emergence of publicly traded biotech companies focused on the commercialization of psychedelic medicines. These companies are at the forefront of drug development, conducting clinical trials, and seeking regulatory approval for psychedelic-assisted therapies. Where can you find the best investment advice in the burgeoning psychedelics industry? In my premium trading service, Marijuana Profit Alert, MPA. MPA can help you make money from the investment bonanza in marijuana, psilocybin, LSD, and other psychotropic drugs. Some of my portfolio holdings are showing gains of 100%, 200%, and even up to more than 1,000% since I recommended them. Intrigued? Click the URL at the bottom of the article that accompanies this video on the Investing Daily website. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.